Today, we've become a society addicted to things. An accumulation of gadgets. Modern conveniences that have become necessities. We're all collectors. Sometimes, to excess. But what if you had to leave it all behind? To start over? To begin a new life? What if all you could bring with you was what you could fit into one large suitcase? We are at the residence of BB. The scenario is this. A bomb is going to go off in a little over two hours. She has one hour to pack a suitcase. But what will she bring? Well, I'd like to take all my photo albums, but that's impossible. I just want pictures of my children, my grandchildren, my living will, and my uh, will. But what worries me is I've got all that medicine. Will she make it? The time starts now. My day has been pretty quiet till now. I have several extra pairs uh, of pants and tops, uh, both lightweight and and heavy, uh, for um, changes. Should I need them? The most important item I chose, unfortunately, <laughs> my medications. Uh, that's number one. Then I got my will and also my living will. the most important thing I had to leave behind would be more pictures of my family because memories are all you have in the long run. Uh, I have five grandchildren, three great-grandchildren, had three babies. I've lived in Mer on Merritt Island since my marriage in 1946, uh, with few exceptions. I packed what I can carry, uh, and they're the most important items. I, I have learned what to pack and what not to pack if I had an emergency situation. We are at the residence of Athela and Jan. They have been given the same scenario. One hour to pack a suitcase before a bomb goes off. I want to cry already. Well, I mean, I already have a general idea of what I would take. Okay. Um, I mean, I would take my backup hard drive. Um, I would bring a book of my poetry and photos, which we, um, wouldn't be able to take much. We'll need some money, a little bit of money or credit yeah. cards. Well, I mean, I can just grab my cards. Okay. And then maybe a little bit of cash. I don't know. Okay. Well, I want to bring some of the things that, um, I just brought from Mom and Dad's place. You know, the little things. Bring a couple of those. You know, um, I'll just bring those. They're small. Yeah. And um, that's fine. A little I mean, bit of clothes, and we're gonna take the kitty and a little carry on. And then I don't care. We're taking the cat. I'm not leaving him here. I think I could be done early. Okay. All right. I don't know if I can. I, I, just a minute. I need to go sit for a minute. I know this is rare. 
but I don't think I can do this. That's okay. Because that's how I felt leaving my family's home mm. for the last time, that it was my last opportunity to get anything that was important to me. And it's just too close. With Jan unable to continue, Athela carries on by herself. The time starts now. Um, I brought salmon because it's easy to bring and something protein that's good to eat. Um, some dried berries and nuts. Uh, some underwear, um, female toiletries, water. Um, I brought uh, a notebook. I brought another one to write poetry in. Medicine stuff, face wash, band aids, um, facial cream stuff. Um, my bear, which I probably would have brought almost barring anything else that I, besides anything that I had to have. My backup drive, photo album -y stuff, pens to write. Um, I brought my book of Shakespeare. I can't think of anything else I really have to have. I mean, I'd like to bring some more jewelry. Um, I'd like to bring some more mementos. I'd like to bring my paintings. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. 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 What am I doing? I think that's really all I have to have. I mean, so I can't think of anything. I don't know what I'm doing. 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 I guess I should close it if I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm, I obviously left important things, and there's probably things that would have been really helpful that I'm not thinking of now and I didn't think of then. That's what I learned from this, is that I'm better at this than I thought I would be. We are at the residence of Sean and Stacy. They have also been given the same scenario. One hour to pack a suitcase before a bomb goes off. Bro, I'll bring my gun um, and my knife, flashlight. Um, what do you need? A good pair of shoes? Yeah, one pair of shoes. One pair of socks. Just one everything. Diapers, but at the same time, yeah, we need something Diapers, to Diapers, all this food, Diapers and wipes formula. and foods. All right, let's get to it. The time starts now. I brought knives. You never know how many you're gonna need. I brought my 30-30 rifle. We brought dark colored jackets. We brought Eric's clothes, some cloth diapers, his bottle, and some formula. We brought a camera. We brought some towels.
I brought a flashlight and my machete. brought hand sanitizer uh, I brought um, rope um, and medicines um, in case there's burning infections um, illnesses anything like that try to be a little bit prepared uh, we brought a baby carrier for Eric as soon as we can. All right, we'll try to be back as soon as we can. We were really sad to leave, mainly because we'd be leaving our dogs behind. I would take family photos. I would take uh, some clothes in that suitcase. I would take my medications. Quiet, tripod. I would take um, toothbrush, toothpaste, of course, and deodorant. And what else would I take? My insurance policies. And... I think that's about it in the dog. He can hold his breath, can't you? Well, if I couldn't take my dog with me and I evacuated, I would, yes, I would. I would stay with you and I would go down with the ship. Yes, I would. One thing, I'd take my pistol. I'd also take a change of clothes, a hat, uh, something to start fire with. Uh, possibly some water, uh, typical things for basic survival, uh, some rope, some plastic to provide some sort of cover, uh, so I had to keep it dry somehow, rain protection, uh, mosquito spray if I had some, and uh, that's pretty much it. First of all, my uniform so I can come back to work. Denny's is everywhere. And I'll take all the money that I have hidden in all my jewelry. And, you know, the essentials of, God. I don't think I would take anything else. That's weird. I never thought to think about that. What do I pack in the suitcase? Every legal document I have birth certificates, kids' birth certificates, social security cards, marriage license, life insurance policies, every legal document, period. Not really something to wear for a little while and then I'm pretty good. Any kind of money I might have stashed around just in case. Okay, if I only had one hour to get everything that I needed, I would call my kids and tell them to meet me somewhere. I would take my medications with me and I would uh, take my gene family genealogy with me because as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing material in the house that I really care about. Family's the most important thing. Well, if I had to evacuate and I couldn't take him, I would hide him somewhere on my person. I would be pregnant 
and I'd have a dog for a pregnant. And he, I would hide him in my belly and I go, oh, I'm so pregnant. And then I would like probably drug him a little bit, just a little bit, so that he wouldn't bark and stuff. You ask me, is that goddamn old Baba? <laughs> <laughs>